Hello friends, welcome to a new session in programming using Scratch. So in last session we have seen the concept of the variables and uh, in the same connecting with the variables we are going to see the concept of list in this session. So a list is also one of the variable but uh, it's behaving something differently. So let's see how exactly the list are created. So let's go to the same topic again variables I'll just click on the variables now uh, in that we have seen the variables how to create that from this particular session now here we can see one option it's called as make a list so when I click on make a list option here so by which we can list is created now what is the list first that we'll see and then we'll go to create the list and try to understand that list as the name suggests list is a collection of multiple elements variable can store only single value but if I want to store more than one values in a single variable so I need to create a list over there so let's understand the list first what do you mean by list see this in this particular presentation you can see I have created a list whose name is X and uh, this list contains seven values inside it these are the values see these are the values 12, 46, 28, 73, 49, 11 and 45. Okay, all these values are there. In single variable you are storing. But these values are stored in a sequence. And that number of the sequence is called as index. This is called as index value. Okay, this is index value. So, in x position number 1, 12 is stored. x position number 2, index number 2, 46 is stored. In x index number 3 28 is stored in x number 4 20 73 is stored again as 5 49 is stored 6 11 and on 7 45 number is stored so whenever we have to create the collection of element it is called as list somewhere it is called as array also so literally the meaning of list and array is same it's a collection of elements which contains more than one values and if you want to access them we have to make use of the index which is shown over index is a sequence number of the elements so let's continue how to make use of this particular list okay so here we can see an option called as make a list okay it's coming under the variable itself okay new list name so just uh, we'll make use of the same x here make sure that if you use x for original variable in the same program you can't create the same variable again so name will get repeated so wherever the variables are there the variable name should not be repeated only single name of the variable is required so you can use variable x here if it's already not created okay so or we can use y or z so let's use z variable here okay for all sprites it's called as global variable and for this sprite only it's called as local variable here okay so in this way this is created okay okay so you can observe that here uh, again many options are enabled for us for the list operations here check this out and as it is enabled the list is present over here you can see uh, what the content it contains it carries uh, so it will be easy for us to understand what internally the z is now containing okay now let's uh, start using it we have already seen in this particular diagram what do you mean by a list how to create it and uh, what index numbers are present there so let's do operation one by one to the respective list so let's take this out first add thing to z okay add thing to z thing means a value so as you can see rounded rectangle there we can put a value or a variable okay so let's see i want to add the number 12 to z so let's run this you can observe that now 12 is added and this one is called as the index number 12 is stored into the list z at position number 1 index number 1 okay 12 is added okay so in this way you can add uh, you can add any number of such things like I want uh, so 12 is added I want to add 45 click now see 45 is added now I want to add 78 now see 78 is added index number is also changing you can see the length of this string or this array or this list also 3 okay and add one more like 29 okay so See how they are added one by one into the respective list. Okay. Uh, okay. If I want to add my name here, so my name is Tushar. Okay, check this out. Tushar. 
okay so dissimilar elements are also possible you also can add dissimilar element inside the list which are not having same type of the data integer and the names also okay now delete okay so check this out delete one of said so when i click on that see element number one is deleted see this i i got 45 now i want to delete element number four so four of see four is deleted so this is the index number position number of value if you want to delete that you can make use of it from where here okay so in this way we can delete the respective element or uh, there is one more option that we can see delete all of means i want to clean this list completely so i can make use of this option click see the list is empty now okay so let's add few more elements again 56 12 89 like this okay now after that insert let's go for the insert operation insert thing at one of set now for example see one two three at third position i want to insert some value like i i, I want to insert uh, 18 okay at at position number three already position number three contains 59 over here okay already position number three is contains 49 59 will go to fourth position and 18 will insert over there see this 18 is inserted i got 49 sorry 59 at fourth position this is called as insert operations we insert a value at the respective index number okay so in this way these operations are uh, done over here let's go for a few more operations here after that i got one more operation called as a replace replace okay replace item one of z with thing for example number two item number two which is present it's containing 12 over there is it of this 12 okay i want another number with thing what thing we require for example i want to add 89 there instead of this 12 so replace item number two of z with 89 click now see 89 this is called as a replace operation that we can do inside the scratch list okay replace items now let's go to the next now item number you have to access okay item number we have to access so item one of z means number one item is which which is that click 56 see this one item one of z is 56 and uh, if you want to uh, make use of this in the programming i can make use of it let's go to the looks and i want to say this item number say this item number for two seconds for this sprite okay so let's add this item number here see say item number one of z for two seconds click okay see it's 56 fine item number uh, four for two seconds click 59 is saying 59 is present there so as we have seen this one this list is containing uh, this particular function is containing a rounded rectangle so i can use it as a variable similar to that i can use one more item number of thing in z means for example what is the index position of 18 18 is present in the list here but what's the number of it item number of 18 in z what is that three see this okay if it is not present then what 39 0 okay so 39 is giving 0 it means that it's not present in the list that's why it is giving 0 there okay index number can be identified with the help of item number of thing in whatever z so n number of such list are possible i'm working currently with the z list then i want to check how many elements are present into it how many elements are present so to count so currently i'm having four so what is the length of z like this so length of z is four so four elements are present and this length also i can use anywhere so i, I just want to say this length for two seconds see this four like this okay so length of the z length of the list can be found with the help of this particular uh, variables okay it's giving these values out of it now 
the next one is a condition as we have seen it's a hexagonal diamond in which the conditions are written so whether z contains the thing or not it is containing that or not like i want to check whether the z is containing 18 18 okay or not so as its diamond shape it will return either true or false so let's go for that click true containing 18 yes it's present over there and if it is not containing 18 or not containing 56 sorry 59 sorry it's also present 52 okay so contains false 52 is not present inside the list showing false so whenever the conditions are expected there i'm going to write this particular diamond shape okay contains it or not and the final one is showing the list and hiding it it's showing already over here if i want to show it or i want to hide it from the output so i can make use of these particular options also so let's use show list take it out it's already showing over here if i want to hide it okay go here height so it's hidden show height show height okay like this in this way uh, we can perform operation on the list it's very interesting to see when we are going to have the multiple different operations multiple different things to add in a single kind of variable single list or an array variable basically uh, we can make use of this and we can perform operations of deleting inserting replacing accessing finding with the help of this particular operation which are now enabled us when you create the list so any number of such list are possible to create and any number of values also we can put inside the list okay so we just can try this how to create the list and how the operations on the list are possible happy learning and happy programming also thank you thanks a lot